Okay, well this has been a hell of a pick so far, and we're just getting started. We've got this whole bag with a lot of these sleeves. They're all purple sleeves. Um, I wonder, is it a cube? You know, why would you have all the same color sleeves? Is this just like a mass of good stuff? Is it a mass of bad stuff? Let's get into it and find out. Um, been having a great time going through these uh, binders. Gosh, I'm going to have to like deal with them somehow. Let's take a quick look and see. There's an armored Pegasus. And a Merfolk of the Pearl Trident. So, oh, okay, so this is would not be a cube with a one of if this is what this is spine worm interesting the old six edition stone rain okay so I don't know what this is now <laughs> okay essence extraction um, our devastation so there are rares in here and the that's one that we had found before magma spray there's a scarab god okay so we are we are onto something here let me, um, I need to deal with this somehow, actually. Let me pause. All right, you know what? I'm going to, I don't know what I'm going to do. I got a box I'm going to kind of put this stuff into. Ah, oh, jeez. It's like such a mass that I can't, I can hardly deal with it. All right, let's. Uh, I think I got it. I think I got an idea. Pick this up. Put it. Here. Okay. I'm gonna move some stuff around. Like, a whole nother video is gonna end up being me cleaning up this mess of a room that I have here. I'm getting organized. So, comment down below if you're interested in seeing something like that. Here we go. Scarab God. So. This is interesting. I don't know what the rhyme or reason is of this. Um, I'm thinking cube, but those are pretty underwhelming cards for a cube. And would you have more than one card uh, in a cube? I guess you can set your cube up however you want. Our devastation. It's been seen before. You can go over here. Um, and the, yeah, they're perfect fit and put into sleeves. So this was, I'm thinking, I'm thinking this is a cube. Essence Extraction, let's check it. Game day promo, 45 cents. Uh, I'm going to probably leave these in their sleeves. They're very nice, actually. Scarab God. So we did not see this in the, uh, in the um, binders. And it's 39 bucks. That's really cool. That's a great card. Put that in the really good card pile. There's another Aether Hub um, promo. I want to say this one was still under a dollar, so I'm not going to do that. Authority of the Consoles. There's a Glacial Fortress, so there is some really good stuff left here. Uh, I'm very happy to report Glacial Fortress, and there's just one in there, right? So this one's not. Yep, it's perfect fit. So exactly what this is. Seal away. A couple of seal aways cast out. So, yeah, I don't know. I thought cubes only had like one of each card, but I guess it doesn't totally make sense. You can do it however you want. And here's the land, Aether Sphere Harvester. Nope. Blooming, Blooming Marshes in Nebraska. So, how would you draft your cube? To have exactly, you know, the cards that you want, like the playset, to get three blooming marshes. That just seems very hard to do. We got a couple of Raskas, which we are already on the list. They're a few bucks each. Chupacabra, I think, is like 99 cents, something like that. Yeah. Syncopate, we had seen those at the very beginning. The Magma Scray, did I scan that? 80 cents. It's not on the list. Wow, okay, very interesting. So here's a little stack of non sleeve cards. Here's emblems for Teferi. Okay. Um, would like to see some Teferis in this stack here. And just the token is three bucks. It's great. 
Here's your land base. You got foil lands. Wow. Yeah, this one went all out. This is a this is a pretty amazing collection. Um, I'll save foil lands and I'll save full art lands for sure. I will save unglued lands. I really will. That one is pretty decent. 650. Token. There's an odd niece. It's a waste. There's a Brian Braun doing. Creature germ. <laughs> That's great. So, a foreign waste. Um, I'll hang on to it, but I will scan the English versions. They are still. Well, they might have been over 90 cents at one point, but they're still. They're still good. There's a relic. I'll take a relic. Um, take a Tezzeret emblem. That's not going to make it. It's alright. So here I can move. Now that the binders are gone, I can kind of show off a little bit. Patient rebuilding from M19. Not quite, but it is a bulk rare. That's usually where I put the bulk rares. Thorn Lieutenant and a Mutavault. Great. Man, I don't know what the rhyme or reason was for having so many copies of really good cards here. Um, just some kind of deck building nut here. Breaking and entering is probably just bulk. Blade cover scout. It's a good card, but it's not 90 cents. Shredder. Nope. The lieutenant comes off too. Oops. Memento. Ethereal armor actually, I think is over. Oh, not quite. That's one that I'll pull. Another Muta Vault and a Dragon Skull Summit. I'll just put this in the same sleeve. So it just keeps on going here. Regisaur. Excellent. So that was actually... Wow, okay. There's actually... Wow, weird. Uh, okay, so... I'm going to skip trying to fix all of the uh, additions here. There's two more Regisaurs. There's a Prism, which is nothing big. A Braid is under 90 cents. Keepable. Commit to memory a foil. Uh, it's going to have trouble seeing that. Let's see here. Commit to memory. Oh, that's actually the uh, pre-release version. Let's see. 522 for the pre-release version. Supreme Will. Nick Bolas. That one... Nicobolus. So we had found one of these before, but being it was like 20, 29, something like that. Magma spray. It's just the one in here. Okay. And I think we had scanned it and it wasn't. Champion of Wits. Oops. Canyon Slough. 299. Field of Ruin, I think, was under the Death's Majesty. Mystery booster. Nope, I think this is the original. It's five bucks. Braska's contempt. Another nickel bolus. Uh, so we're at uh, 5533. We're adding. Yeah, almost 30 bucks. It's like 29 bucks. Amazing. So I guess I should pull my really good hits right now and show them off. Canyon Slough. We had seen Siphoner. Nope. Drowned Catacomb. Not that one. M13. And this one's got like a little bend to it, like it's been in someone's hand off and on. So someone played with all this. <laughs> Here's some black sleeves. Power Plant. We're playing Tron. And some 6th edition stuff. 
Very odd. These are the same cards that were sleeved up. Just very basic kind of creatures. Just very vanilla stuff. It's very strange. Power Plant, Oblivion Stone. I think we're playing Tron here. All right, so Chronicles um, Tron lands are all typically about 90 cents to a buck, sometimes less. I've resolved I'm not going to scan them anymore. I will definitely keep them. <coughs> they always take too long to figure out all of the uh, the different versions. And when, when you want to look at Emrakul's instead, I don't want to waste my time on the on the towers and mines and stuff. Uh, so yeah, we'll be moving on. A couple of Oblivion stones, Emrakul, the promised end. Ba Boom, thirty-eight bucks. There we go. So I don't know. This is more of a Tron deck, but there's like all of those are purple sleeves. So I don't know how you would figure out if they were individual modern decks or whatever. How would you know what's what? Why would you smush them all together like that? I don't know. Maybe they were originally in segmented off like a box or something and then somehow got taken out and put together. So that kind of starts to make sense. Time Spiral Chromatic Star is a buck. And there's a Karn Liberated. This is so amazing here. This is all starting to look like the actual decks that this person played. Whew. Carney L32. Another stone. Another relic. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's the event deck. K to the L. And that was a reprint. This is a Modern Masters. Whew. Keep going. Power plant, stirrings. Uh, under a buck now. Interesting. Oh my gosh. Can we go for four? And hopefully it's shot right. Yeah. Well, hold on. One, two, and three. Yeah, they're, they're all, all three of them on there. Chromatic sphere. Uh, let's see. Full art. I see a, I think it's a Planeswalker border coming up. What could it be? What could that be? It's an Ugin. All right. Well, I was kind of joked that it was another car. Nope. We'll take that as well. Wow. But being we had one of those on the list as well. I'm going to need more space for the good stuff. Sylvan Scrying. And another, and a Walking Ballista. We had one of those before. And there's the fourth. Wow. This is fully fledged, you guys. And we'll just scan him. That's going to see it correctly. Uh, yep. Play a set of Karn Liberated. What else you got? Another Sylvan Scrying. Did we see? Oh, there it is. It's right at the bottom. Whew. Here's more black sleeves and some purple sleeves. And mine. Stirring. There's an engine. Oh, yeah. That one was under 90. But bing. We, it's not the oversized version. That's interesting. Commander 24. Sanctum. Thrag Tusk, was it under 90 cents? It is. Nature's Claim, hmm. I don't know what I'm doing here. Got piles. Uh, that's probably nothing I'm gonna scan it anyway because I'm not positive, okay. It's a common from Conspiracy, it's a buck. Back to purple. Aether Hub, there's a Bolus Ravager again. Champion of Wits, I think was was it a dollar? No. Ravager. Sulfur Falls. Lyra, wow. Uh, Doomfall. Twelve. Cast out. Some nice four planes. Settle the wreckage. Gideon of the Trials. 
pull from tomorrow. And another one, whoops. It's not a promo pack version. It is the Amaket version. It is three bucks. River emblem disallow. Wow, this is I can't even believe this, honestly. Oh my gosh. Yep. So here is what looks like the rest of the black cards and some more purple. Here's Vraska. Chupacabra. Mm. Rivals. Woodland Cemetery. More. Dual Lands. Blooming Marsh. Scavenger. And another history of Benalia. There's another Ulamog. Okay. We're doing it. This was in the black deck. But bang, it was like 55 bucks, right? Pools, there's a Torrential Gear Hulk. Seven. Summit. I'm so glad it can see through these sleeves. The scanner. Alright, back into the black um, sleeves here. Chromatic Star. There's a little bit. Tower. Walking Ballista again. Amazing. I mean, this guy had now like a full deck of this stuff plus extras. Um. See, well, we found one walking ballista. Maybe there's only three then in this deck. Yep, that one got it right. Chromatic Star. Different version, I don't care. Ancient Stirrings, Chromatic Sphere, I already scanned and it was a buck. Another Worm Coil Engine. Not the oversized promo, it's the Commander version. It's 25 bucks. Wow, this is. This is something else. Bing, and then there's another one. You can see it. There we go. Two Sylvan Scryings. An Expedition Map. Not the original Zendikar. Oblivion Stone. Ghost Quarter. Chromatic Star. Another Worm Coil Engine. Nope. Wow. Mine. Yep. Everything you need to smash face with Tron, right? This one is Modern Masters. Stirrings. And here's whatever's left of the black. Rack Sphere. And Ulamog. Number three, I think. Dismember. And another Ugin. Sure, why not? Life from the Loam. So, uh, looks like Dredge got some new toys uh, to play Tron. That's interesting. Are we going into a different deck here? Fourteen. Thought not Sears. One, two, three of those. Warping Whale. Spatial Contortion. And that was under. Oh my gosh. I mean, how much do you think that deck was? Several hundred dollars just in that one deck. And there's more. We've got some loose cards. There's another Nature's Claim. The Worm Token. Again, one, two, three. I'll see if they'll scan. I'm not going to spend too much time. One, two, and then a Death Touch. I'm not going to change the addition if it was wrong. Nature's Claim. Another token. C 
Seal away. Fumigate. We had seen those. Approach to the second sun. Um, nope. Get you the right version here. It is probably a buck or two. Um, more nice lands. Another fumigate. It's crazy. Fetid pools. Authority. But being, how much was that? I guess over five bucks. Token. Sorcerer's Spyglass, cool. Um, regular, not cool enough apparently. It's a good card then. And there's a haul. There's a buck ninety. Supreme Will. I feel like I scanned this already, and yeah, no, it's not. Uh, nope. Gaunty, I think was under. I forget. Nope, these don't make it. But they're good, and I'll keep them anyway. I gotta like deal with this. Sign to Oblivion it is not enough. Champion. Nope. Oops. Never. To return. Aetherborn's good. Cast down. Wait. No, I think I had seen a. We got a promo of that or something. Scavenger. Nope. A Swiss amp. Settle the wreckage. Couple more. One, two. Uh, this just keeps going and going. And it's all decent stuff. Authority. History of Benalia. One. Two of them. They're buck. 84. Reliquary Tower. Different version. Dragon's Horde. It's foil though. It's 1597 for a foil Dragon's Horde. Wow. That's quite a multiplier. So it's treasure doing its thing right there. Gigantosaurus. Not a promo pack. Regular. Amulet. I'm going to read this so well. And we'll take off the amulet here. Remorseful Cleric. Papa Bless. Here we go. Apex of Power. So there's a Mythic. Not a great one. Dismissive. Nope. So this just looks like some M19 open box and put all the rares in here. Thanks for leaving out all the commons. It's pretty amazing. It's like the wrong box went to Goodwill. It's crazy. Spit Flame. Nope. Graveyard Marshal. Nope. Take them off. There's the Bolus Ravager flip token. Let's see. Nothing big there. Gutter Snipe. I like this card, but it's an uncommon. So we're into some uncommon. So I guess he did open some packs and leave the commons and uncommons back here. Probably nothing much here. Veteran. Let's check this goblin. Nope. Not a good goblin. I mean, he's probably great, but mostly uncommons here. Fatal push. That's a good uncommon. Two ninety nine. Man, this is just going and going and going. It's a foil promo. Yehenny's Hour of Glory. Did we check that one? It's nothing. Nope. Bloodfast to Temple of Aklazots. Nope. Cast down. Nah, I can't see it. 
I feel like that one's a little bit. I'm just not going to mess with it right now. I should pour as well. Wow, this is still going. There's still a bunch of uh, purple sleeves here. So if these are just different decks that were put all into the same color sleeves, it just would be difficult to deal with. So fail push promo 447 Glacial Fortress. A Bing. All right, let's do this. Syncopate, and then more uh, pre-release versions. Commit to memory there. Mystery booster, no. Pre-release card, yes, it was more. <sighs> Sulfur Falls, wow. Swamp. Blood Fast was not going to make it. The Aether Hub didn't make it, I don't think. There's a summit. Uh, fetid pools. And I'm getting thinking about the possibilities of more fetch lands in this stuff here. Canyon slough. Contempt. A braid was not over 90 cents anymore. Siphoner was not. Entreat the angels. There we go. And another cryptic command. Boosh! But bing! That one's good. Eugler of Mantis Rider. Oh! Ho, ho, ho. Oh! 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 One of my favorite cards of all time to pick. Uh, this one looks like it's got a little bit of play at the top here and down at the bottom, so definitely like a light play. I will take the Cavern of Souls any day of the week, especially the original. Avacyn, 89 bucks. Dude, okay. Tell me there's a play set of those in there. Okay, just tell me. Tell me there is. 460, this is insane. 